So I've got the uh, two models uh, behind the uh, PC here um, on the track and I'm just going to kind of show you um, a couple of uh, programming features and immediate changes to the sound. So right now I'm on the uh, seven band equalizer page. Uh, let's kind of zoom in and uh, get a little close up shot and you'll be able to hear kind of the uh, change in immediate brightness. So um, one of the biggest changes that you can make to how these uh, decoders uh, will sound is in that uh, EQ. So for example, I'm gonna go up to the uh, uh, 4K band. I'm gonna bump that all the way up. I'm gonna uh, click the uh, uh, program button and uh, here you go, it's pretty immediate. So a pretty major change just in the brightness. Again, uh, cutting that all the way out. And then uh, going all the way back up to the 4K. So a uh, pretty, uh, pretty effective methodology of creating some brightness, especially on the high end. Um, I'll show you uh, kind of an example of where you're not getting any power out of these speakers and that's in the low end uh, bass. So for example, I'll bump these all the way up and you shouldn't hear any change nothing so i'm going to set those again all the way back to zero uh, i don't want to have any power from the decoder dedicated to those channels uh, but in this particular band in the 250 hertz i'm going to set that all the way up we should be able to determine a uh, get a little bit more rumble out of these uh, not so much let's try the 500 There we go. So that was a pretty effective and immediate change. Let's see if I can change this 250 to determine any change at all. So just barely I can hear that with my ear. Uh, just a little, little bit of effectiveness, but certainly this guy right here, you can certainly hear that bass cut out and then we can bump that all the way up and again you can hear that change so i'm doing that to both locomotives because right now they share the same address um, but if i wanted to go in and individually tailor each locomotive that's not a problem